Now, I just signed up for my new Gmail account that I'm going to be demonstrating with you uh, on basically how to set it up. Uh, some great features on it that uh, you can use for your domain name when you get it. That you have an email address that you can use your Gmail for all your email addresses. And you can use Gmail to even send out going mail and say uh, from you at yourdomain.com kind of thing. Uh, to do this. Google Docs, widgets, um, all that kind of stuff. Just gear it up that it's ready to go and it's um, your one stop system for all your kind of communication online. Uh, you can tag things, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to give you a quick look and a quick tour around it. And some of these things you can do yourself now. Other th other things you may, you know, would say for your domain name, you probably haven't got one yet, so you can come back and you can do it again um, when you do have it. So I'll give you a quick look. Uh, so this is the inbox. Now I've done a few bits with it already and I'm just going to go through uh, step by step kind of quickly um, extra bits and pieces that you can add to your Gmail account to make it work more efficient for you uh, and look a bit nicer and just to make things a little bit quicker. So the main thing we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. So in here you can change your language. So I'm going to change it to the UK. Maximum uh, 50 sound. All these are sound. This is your signature. This is attached to the bottom of each outgoing email. So this can be something that you can change yourself. You might want to add a website in there, um, a link in there, anything like that. But it's nearly like advertising space. So use it wisely, you know. Um, what else have we here? All these are grand. Accounts import and export. Now what I've done here is I set up an email address called info at mountemarket.com. Um, I set that up in my hosting and I'm going to show you later on how to do that as well. But um, so you can send, so you can use e Gmail as your main email application and you can send and receive mail from different email addresses. And um, this is where you do it. Um, you'll see out here I would have got a I would have got a Gmail verification and I basically what I did is I clicked on that link and um, that means now that I can send mail as info at mountainmarket.com from Gmail and I've also set it as my default so when I click compose straight away it's going to send information or my email from info at mountainmarket.com this is very useful you know and um, no matter if you're changing hosts later on um, or um, even just errors, you know, if email can get deleted, and size, size of your mailbox. I mean, you're never going to run out of space with Gmail. Uh, what else have we? We have labels. So what you can do is you can label stuff maybe from your hosting as hosting. You can label stuff for for each website uh, as things come in. You can do it by subject or by who it's from and that kind of thing. Uh, something to play around with yourself. I won't go through exactly how to do it, but this can become useful, especially after a while when you're starting to get a lot of mail and that kind of thing. Filters, we all know what they are, and if you don't, I won't worry about it. Um, say you already have email an email address, we'll say with Hotmail or something else. You can always have that coming in here, you know. So you can use pop three settings, uh, which you can get from your ISP or from your provider that of your email already and you can um, again have everything coming in here and if you want it you could label emails maybe that's coming from this address in your labels so that all you would have to do is click on the label down here and you can get to your emails quickly. Uh, chat, Google has a great chat feature you can actually check uh, with your contacts see if anyone else is on it these are the settings not much to go through this is where it gets good so we're in labs now, right? Um, and they have a load of stuff here that wasn't here before. But I mean, you can enable quite a lot of these. Your Google Voice Player in handy if you're using Google Talk a lot. Uh, if you're getting emails maybe from a different language, if you're work with a foreign athlete affiliate or a different hosting company again, or you never know if you're reselling stuff from China or something, can be quite ha handy. Um, if you want beta, I won't worry too much about that. We keep going through these. <coughs> Signature tree. That's a handy one. I think it's always weird how Google put your footer after everyone's message. 
So that kind of brings it at the bottom of your message, which brings it higher up. Very handy. Um, what else have we? Hide on red count. You should see some of my inboxes. They have like two or three thousand unread messages, and you'll find that you do that a lot. And instead of going in and out of each message just to keep your thing down, you can just hide them. I mean, if you're going to open them, you're going to open them, and if you're not, you're not. So you don't need to know how many unread messages you have. Response is enabled. This this is handy. Sometimes you might find that you're sending a lot of the same message over and over and over again. It might be just a link, or it might be um, just a, a subscription email or a welcome email or something like that. And um, I'll show you quickly how to use that. That's a fantastic tool. Canned responses, default reply to all. Um, never forgot. This is another good one. So, if you're sending an email and you might be attaching God only knows an ebook or whatever you want to attach and you might say please find attached maybe invoice or ebook or whatever and you send it and you never remember to add the file so that's another very good one that will tell you if you kind of mention an attachment in the email itself it will just remind you if you don't have one attached um, custom that can be handy if you have a lot uh, where are we Anything else? Inbox pre preview. I never install. That could be a good one. We'll see. Uh, this is a very good one. Multiple inboxes. So what that will do is it will attach um, a starred box and it will attach uh, a sent or a draft box and your inbox all on the one page. So <coughs> say you get an email and you go, oh geez, I must do that or remember to do that. You can star it, and then that's at the very top of your inbox. So uh, when you go back again, you'll get you'll see the list of starred um, starred messages. So keep an eye on that, and it's always on the on the homepage. Very good one, um, and drafts as well. So say you're in the middle of an email and you just went off or you closed it. When you come back, you'll see the draft is sitting there. It hasn't been sent yet, and you can go in, continue to edit it. Um, that's a good one. That's for Google Docs. Always keep that one. Say an email comes in, you can just create a document straight from that email straight away. And if you're in the state, you can enable the SMS gadget. Unfortunately, I'm not. Um, so go through these yourself, and some of these might suit you, and others mightn't. Google Docs, and that's that. Save changes.